up kings and welcome back to another powerful positive and productive quick video in this video i want to answer a question for one of you guys that dm me on instagram earlier today asking me about seed retention and celibacy all right he was basically asking should i go to the, the celibacy route and what do i think what's my perspective um what's my recommendation whatever whatever you know what i'm saying but before i dive into this video uh, I just want to let you guys know that this video is brought to you by Goalie Nutrition, all right? I got the Goalie for the low, all right? Yeah, you can go buy it at Walmart, GNC, the Vitamin Shop, but through your boy Captain Blackman, you can get the Goalie products for the low. Get you a nice little discount. We got the ashwagandha. I actually love the KSM 66 ashwagandha. This stuff is clinically proven to normalize your cortisol levels, all right? It reduces stress, it gets rid of the anxiety, improves your sex performance, right? Uh, it helps with muscle function, it helps with the immunity, it helps with a whole lot of things, man. Very powerful stuff. We also have apple cider vinegar, super fruits, uh, the super greens, all of these tasty vitamins you can add to your vitamin stack. Just another good way for you to get your your micro and macronutrients in so you can fill those nutritional gaps, all right? Uh, if you're interested, click the links that I have in the description below. Use code CB20 so you can get it for the low, right? You can get you a nice little discount. But let me dive into this video, all right? A lot of you guys want to know, and I've gotten this question several times in the past, and I'm guilty of not answering you guys' questions when it comes to semen retention, because I don't want to come off as if I'm the guy telling you guys what to do with your meat, all right? Quick disclaimer, I am not the meat police. I repeat, I am not the meat police. You can do whatever you want to do with your meat. You guys ask the questions, I give you the answers, okay? But the guy was asking, should I go to uh, the celibacy route, all right? Yes, I do recommend the celibacy route if you're single and serious. Okay, let me say that again. I do recommend recommend the celibacy route if only if you're serious and single. And here's why. Okay, I don't recommend it if you are in a relationship or married because you're going to cause fucking problem. All right. You just went from having regular sex with your girlfriend. Right. You didn't touch her fucking heart with the tip of your dick. And now you introducing celibacy because you want to embark this spiritual journey, right? First of all, you got to understand that senior retention is about you and you alone. It has nothing to do with your girlfriend. Women really don't give a fuck about your struggles, all right? Women don't give a fuck about your spiritual journey. Some do. It's very rare. But don't introduce celibacy to your relationship or marriage just because you taking senior retention serious, all right? You should have did that shit back when you were single. You done got yourself in a long-term relationship or marriage, and now you have to go the other route, all right? There's another thing that you can practice in order to successfully pull off the seed retention thing. It's called non-ejaculatory sex, all right? So if you're in a relationship or married, you can practice non-ejaculatory sex. The only con to that is that you will keep fucking up because you having sex with your woman and you're practicing non-ejaculatory sex but practice makes perfect so don't beat yourself over the head because you keep slipping up every now and then it is what the fuck it is you just went from busting nuts for 5, 10, 15, 20 years depending on when you started and how old you are you just went that long right? that long time gap and now you're practicing something, practicing something different. Don't expect yourself to master it in one week. It won't happen. All right. So to all of you guys that's in relationships or married, I do not recommend the celibacy route at all. Again, you're going to cause problems. All right. You might get your woman taken by Chad or Tyrone. That, that's, you know, he don't give a fuck about no raising his vibration and none of that shit. He will gladly fuck the shit out your girlfriend. And she'll be cheating on your ass. She'll be coming home glowing and smiling from girls' night out. And you'll be like, why the fuck she glowing and smiling? She just got piped out, all right? So don't cause those problems in your relationship again. You can practice non-ejaculatory sex. Just hold it in, all right? And give yourself the opportunity to experience a different type of orgasm, okay? You don't have to orgasm just through your penis. You can orgasm in your body up the spine, 
And I'm gonna make a video in the future talking more about that, all right? You don't actually uh, skeet sperm up your spine. All right? it's, a, uh, it's energy and it goes up your spine and you, you experience a full body orgasm like women do, all right? If you know what you're doing in the bedroom with your tongue or with your dick, you may have seen a woman shaking, rolling her eyes back. She's experiencing a great nut, full body, okay? <clears throat> And a lot of us men, we don't know what the fuck that is because we so used to um, uh, ejaculating through the through our penis, we have conditioned ourselves to experience orgasm through our dick and our dick alone, right? You can experience it within the whole body while keeping your sperm inside of you, all right? That's the whole purpose, one of the purposes of semen retention, right? So you can raise your vibration by keeping your energy inside of you, okay? But let me get back on subject. If you're single and serious about semen retention, yes, I recommend the celibacy route. Leave these holes alone. Leave these distractions alone. Leave these energy vampire succubus Jezebel holes alone so you can successfully pull this shit off. If you are in a relationship or married, I don't, I don't recommend the celibacy route. Practice non-ejaculatory sex.